During this section I'm going to be looking at and talking about resonance. The situation which occurs when we combine a driving force and the natural frequency. So think back to what you already know. The natural frequency is the frequency which a device will oscillate due to the properties that exist. The length of the string or the spring constant and the mass attached if it was a, uh, a mass moving up and down on a spring. Um, the driving force is a force of some sort which is providing a forced oscillation going in and out and providing additional, additional oscillation. Now if these two things coincide then interesting things happen. Uh, we saw during the last session I was talking about um, we have peaks of amplitude when we have a damped uh, oscillating situation. Now, if we have an undamped or very, very lightly damped, what happens if we continue to put energy in, the energy just builds up and up and up, and that means the amplitude will become higher and higher and higher. There are some occasions when this is very good news, but there's also some occasions when this is very, very catastrophic. So what we're thinking about here is that when a driving force is just at the right frequency and the oscillating object doesn't have enough dampening effect, then what happens is the amplitude grows and grows and grows until it's out of control. So let's think about the good things first. Some examples. Um, if you tune in a radio, we're talking about an old school radio where you tune it in. What happens is that the natural radio, natural frequency of the radio circuit made, when it coincides with the electromagnetic, electromagnetic wave which is being picked up, the radio wave, when this causes um, an amplification, I suppose, um, that can then be used and tuned into and the sound can be put out through the speakers. Another fortunate thing is a microwave oven. As it happens, microwaves oscillate at exactly the same natural frequency as that of water molecules. So when you turn your microwave oven on, what you're actually doing is vibrating the water molecules and causing them to amplify more and more and more and gain more energy. So the energy is actually going directly into the water molecules and then transferred into the food in the form of thermal energy. So these are the good things. Um, on the other hand, there's some things that can kind of get out of control. Um, if we have a driving force that increases the oscillations more and more and more, it can be very damaging uh, for structures. Uh, most famously, famously, there's the... Tacoma Narrows Bridge. The Tacoma Narrows Bridge was this new fangled bridge. It was fantastic in every way, but unfortunately, it seems that the natural frequency of the bridge coincided with um, the frequency was set up when the wind came through at a certain strength through the valley. Um, this looked a little bit like, let me just flick to the screen, vibrating and vibrating more and more and more and more getting bigger and bigger and bigger until it was finally completely destroyed. Um, you also have a similar situation with tower blocks um, or getting affected by wind in exactly the wrong way. So those are the things which you need to be aware of when resonance goes bad.